Mr. Kerr. The minister says that we need to work together in her warm tones while at the same time stacking the entire process okay, for a Liberal rigging of the process by which we choose That's this right. Parliament that belongs to the Canadian people, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Speaker. We believe in government of, for and by the people, not of, for and by the Liberal Party. In her litany of uh, Conservative electoral reforms, she neglected to mention 2005, the PEI referendum, 2007, the Ontario referendum, 2009, the British Columbia referendum. The problem for the Liberals is that those voters didn't give those Liberal governments the answer they wanted. Why not let the people decide rather than the Liberal oh, government? Yeah. The Minister of Democratic Institutions. Mr. Speaker, I appreciate the compliment about my tone. Indeed, that is the positive tone Canadians voted for. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, in the referenda, the member opposite cited nearly half of the population did not vote. Is that okay? Is that acceptable? Or can we use the tools available to us in the 21st century to ensure that those who have barriers that need to be overcome are addressed and heard in this important conversation? Mr. Speaker, the two-thirds of Canadians who demand a referendum on how they elect their MPs will not be, uh, will not be confused by the smugness of this minister. The last time we had a referendum in this country, in 1992, under a Conservative government, 14 million Canadians voted. In a typical parliamentary study, fewer than 100 witnesses appear. How could she possibly think that a process involving dozens or hundreds of people is more inclusive than one involving tens of millions? Honourable Minister of Democratic Institutions. would like to put all his consultation eggs in the referendum basket. I do not agree with this approach. Canadians deserve a more inclusive approach designed to meet the needs and the opportunities of the 21st century. The member opposite and all members in this House need to accept responsibility to ensure that the voices of those Canadians who are not currently and traditionally engaged in this process are heard and reflected in the final outcome. Well, here, here. 